Hey everybody, it's your girl Sincerely Dre, and I'm back today with another video. So as I can see by the title down below, today we will be unboxing and putting together that ikea alex drawers i've been i've had them for a hot second now but i haven't been able to get to them and put it together because of school and everything so we're gonna go get it and get right into this video okay y'all this thing is heavy <laughs> okay so i have the drawers in front of me now i don't know if y'all can see it but it's right here. I'm going to unbox it and show y'all everything that comes in the box. And then we're gonna go from there. Y'all, this thing is so heavy. A look on the inside. Just a box on this side or a holder box on this side and all your parts so this is first box i'm guessing this is all the screws and everything that you need let's oops <laughs> let's see clearly this is not the easiest thing to open Okay, yes, yeah, so this is all your screws and everything that you need to do it. I'm not seeing one of those, oh yeah, I am. Let's say I'm not seeing like one of those little screwdriver things that they usually give you to put everything together, but it's in there. Then, all the pieces. I am not about to like pull this out all pretty. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm just gonna dump it out and hopefully nothing. Telling me that I'm gonna need a flat head driver, it's a regular screw, a Phillips screwdriver, and the hammer. So I'm gonna go get those. Let's put this right there. I'm gonna go get those and then I'm gonna be right back. Okay, y'all. So I am back with the screwdrivers and the hammer. So now we're gonna get started. Okay, y'all. So the first step is to take this little screwdriver now i'm not sure if y'all can see it properly but you're gonna take this one and you're gonna put it in every other hole on each side and then you're gonna screw it in so that's what i'm gonna do and then we'll be back So the next step is to take those little wooden pieces like that and you're going to put them in to these four sections on this middle board and then put it into the other sections on the other side on the same board with the six big holes on the front. 
Okay, y'all, now the next step is to take this. I forgot what it's called, but it's gonna be the bigger one. It's not this smaller one. They have these ones and they have these ones. There's a bigger piece and there's a smaller piece. They both look the same, but you wanna take the bigger ones. You're gonna take six of these and then you're going to put them into the holes that are on the back. You're gonna take these and you're gonna put them into these six holes right here. And make sure you do it to where the opening is facing the outside here because if not, then when you put this screw into it, you won't be able to turn that part. And that's an important piece to not forget. So now, your middle piece should look something like this. Sure all of these pieces into it. Now we're gonna put all these three pieces together and then we're gonna go from there. Now, you want to take your screwdriver like this, the flat one, and you're going to put it in here and you're going to twist it and that's what locks the screws on the bottom so it doesn't move. So from here, I'm going to stick this up so that this doesn't, you know, want to go all the way down and possibly crack or break this back piece. Okay, y'all, so the next step is to find the top piece and basically do the same exact thing, but to the top part. So this is how your top piece will look. It will have a whole lot of holes on one side and it won't have any holes on the other side. That's how you know that it's the top piece. You want to take six of these and you're going to put them into this section again. Okay, y'all, so now I'm going to put these screws into the top part. And you're going to do it the same way as you did with these sides. Then after that, you want to take these same pieces the bigger ones, not the smaller ones, and you want to put it into these six holes that are on the inside of the drawer so far. And you just want to do it, you can do it later, but doing it now just makes it easier for everything else to go in the way it's supposed to. you want to take your top piece and put it onto the top, of course. <laughs> and now you want to take this screwdriver the same way that you did before and you want to lock those pieces in on the inside. Okay, so now you want to take these longer screws, they're the only screws that look like this, in the set. There are six of them and you're going to put them into this bottom piece. And you'll know that this is the bottom piece because it has holes on this side and it has holes on this side. For this section, I'm going to lay the drawers back down on its back so that we can get the bottom piece on the drawers. Okay, so now you're going to place the back piece up to the bottom. And you're going to take the screws along, because like I said before, and you're going to screw them into each of the holes. And to screw them in for this one, you're actually going to take the tool that they give you. You won't be using an actual like screwdriver. Okay y'all, so now you want to take these four black casters that go on the bottom and you're going to hammer them into these four sections and then we're going to place it back onto the right side. And please be careful when you guys are hammering tips, I do not want y'all to be out here smashing y'all fingers, okay? 
Okay, so if y'all want to do what I'm doing, because the holes that are right here are a little small, I'm taking this white piece and I'm hammering this in first to make the hole a little bit bigger, and then taking it back out and then putting this piece in so it's easier to hammer in. So you don't hammer and mess up your fingers. <laughs> So now once you have these four black things in, we're gonna place it back on the top so you can start working on the drawers. Okay y'all, so now we are going to go back in with these screws from before, the same ones that we've been using this entire time. And we are going to take each of the front flaps for the drawer and we're gonna screw this Okay, so the next thing that you want to do is take these wooden things again and put them into the lower area. Okay, so actually that was wrong. You're only going to do the two wooden parts for these smaller ones. So you only need four for this step. And then you're going to take the sides and you're going to put the sides in like this. And then put this, the smaller one now. <laughs> you're going to take this smaller piece, put that in, and then lock it like how you did on the inside. Okay, y'all, so make sure you put your sides on the right way because I just realized I put mine on the wrong way. Make sure that these parts that you screw in or turn into lock everything together are on the outside because they're not on the outside you won't be able to put this piece in because you want those small ridges that you see on the inside right there those are going to be on the inside so make sure that is on the outside <laughs> and now we're going to put these bottom pieces for the bottom of our drawers in and then for this you want to make sure this is on the is up while the brown side is going to be on the back Okay, so now that you have the bottom piece on, you're going to take the small back piece, you know it's the back because it's small, it's one of the only ones left, and it looks like this on the inside. So you want to take this back piece, we're going to slide it in to this section that they have right here, and then you're going to hammer these white pieces in so it stays still. two smaller ones then you can put these to the side and we're gonna do the same exact thing but to the bigger drawers the only difference in between the bigger drawers and the smaller drawers are that they are going to require four of these so you're gonna put one in each of the holes that you see and not the wooden one in the bottom you're just gonna put four of these in it So we're gonna do the same exact thing that we did before, but you wanna make sure that this is on the inside and these are on the outside. And now we're gonna go back through and do the same exact thing that we did with the smaller drawers. We're gonna take these pieces right here and we're gonna put it into these sections and then lock it like we've done before. And now we're going to do the same thing and put these back pieces 
into the drawers. smaller ones but with the bigger ones you're going to take the back pieces put them into the back and then hammer in those little clear pieces Okay, also the next step is to put the drawers in. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna move on to what the next step is after that. supposed to pull this part out to screw one of the smaller screwdrivers into these small sections or these small holes that are in there and that will keep it into this thing so it'll come all in and out smoother so that's what we're about to do right now sure what they're for they never said to use them but I have them so it doesn't hurt and that's about it so I'm gonna fix this angle so we get back to a better angle and I'm gonna finish this video out <laughs> okay so as I wrap up this video I do want to do some quick first impressions on how I feel about the whole drawers whole setup all of that so I'm gonna be real nitpicky right here because you know when you do spend money on something you do want to like have everything look good so the first thing is the directions are not bad if you've put things together before you would under you kind of understand how everything goes it's just it would have been better with words for people who don't usually put things together but it's not bad they're pretty easy to follow after you just like really pay attention to the pictures my next thing about the drawers are I don't know if you guys can see it, but on the sides, these parts are closer in on the drawers and down as you get to close to the bottom, it's like more space right here than it is up here. So that's just another nitpicky thing. It really doesn't matter, but I did just want to note that. 
there are no scratches or dents or bumps on anything that I have, but that could be because I did go into the store and actually pick this up myself instead of having it delivered to me because I didn't want to have that issue. But there is no problems on it for the one that I got. And one thing I can say is I did go and get these instead of getting the dupe of them that is at Michael's because they have like these silver railings on the side. I don't know if you guys can see this, but pick up this one. They have these silver railings on the side. I picked them up because I thought it would be easier and it would feel better going in and out, but it's not really like easy. You still have to use some force, but everything is in here pretty securely. I don't see anything really breaking or falling apart because of those secured pieces that you put in there. So I'm gonna see how this goes. I'll be using this more for school supplies to put next to my desk. But after some time, I will be doing another review on this. If there's any other videos that you guys want to see with this drawer, like how I organize it, what I put into it, let me know in the comments down below and I'll most definitely get that to you. But I will be making good use of these drawers and I am pretty content with it as it is right now. So this has been my video showing you guys how to put this thing together, my unboxing, first impressions, all of that. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell because I will be making more videos about this as well as doing other videos about college and life. And also make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at I am Sincerely Drew. That's where you get to see all the behind the scenes of these videos. You get to make more input on what types of videos that I put out and just see more about. And as you guys know, my name is Sincerely Drew and I will see you in the new video. Bye. Oh,